So Thank we're going to go for our first question. We'll come from Kevin Fraser of Entertainment Tonight. How are you guys doing today? And um, thanks for having us. And congratulations um, on this great honor. Um, I want to ask you right off the bat, it, it has um, been reported that you pumped millions of your own dollars into this performance. And we now know that it will come entirely from the stands. So can you tell us three ways that you will innovate since you won't have the traditional stage? Um, well, due to, to the COVID and, and um, for the safety of the players and um, the workers, we kind of built the stage within the stadium. And uh, we're also using the field as well, but we wanted to kind of do something that we've never done before. And um, yeah, so we built, we built the stage in the stadium, but I'm not going to tell you anything else because you'd have to watch on Sunday. Yeah. We know Kevin will be. Appreciate I'll be it, watching. Kevin. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate it. Next question. Let's go to Jem from Variety. Jem? Morning, Abel. Uh, my question's a little simpler. Um, in your opinion, what's the greatest Super Bowl per halftime performance in history and why? The great, uh, I don't know what technically the greatest is, but my favorite is definitely Diana Ross, 1996. Have you seen that one? Oh, yeah. Oh, Why in particular? She, I mean, she's just so glamorous, and was, the show just makes me smile. And um, she has a great exit with the helicopter. She lands in the middle of the field, grabs onto it, and flies out into the crowd, uh, into the clouds. It's like, I wish I could have done that. I wish I thought of it, <laughs> to be honest. We still have time. Do we, we? Still have time? Let's. We could. We could work it. But uh, no. I don't that think. I don't think I have enough money to do it. To be honest, I think. Uh, <laughs> That was a fantastic uh, Arizona, Dallas, Pittsburgh, mm -hmm, yeah. Diana Ross leaving from a, a helicopter. Classic. But I, I think we, we know what you're going to end up doing, and it's going to be a great show inside the stadium, but then also for our fans at home. So thank you. I know I can't wait. Appreciate Let's it. stay here locally for our next question. It's going to come from the Tampa Bay Times. Sharon Kennedy Wynn. There you go. Hello there. Welcome to Tampa. Uh, you know, I thank know you. you've had. Um, You've had three shows uh, in Tampa over the last almost about five or eight years, all really um, cinematic and really well reviewed. It was hugely popular. I'm kind Thank of wondering you. if you have some memories of having been here. Um, and I know you've, I guess you've got, you got an unusual stadium. You're the only stadium with a pirate ship in it. I'm wondering if some of there's some features of, of this ship or in this town that you're incorporating into your show. Um, yeah, that ship is so iconic. Um, we're incorporating it just a, a little bit. Um, but again, you'd have to watch it on Sunday. Um, I think to answer your first question uh, about my shows in Tampa, the crowd here is insane. I mean, they, don't, they don't sing the lyrics back, they scream it back at you. It's, <laughs> such, it's such an experience. I love Tampa. There's a lot of con uh, connection between Canadians and Tampa, you know. The Toronto Blue Jays have been spring training here since 1977. Oh, nice. I think the Raptors too, right? Yep, and we just got the Raptors. We have a lot of connections, so. Good, good. I feel at home. Thank you, Sharon. Good to see you. Next question, let's go to Access Hollywood, Zuri Hall. Hi, how you doing? Congratulations on the halftime performance. Thank you. He hasn't done it yet. <laughs> oh, he's going to kill it, though. That's what we know for sure. So we'll be tuned in Sunday for that. Um, but I'm curious to know, what would you tell your 17-year-old self who left home, moved into a small apartment with a friend? You know, eventually that young Abel was going to become the Super Bowl halftime star. You've accomplished so much. What would you tell that kid? Um, don't quit. Mm. just don't quit um and there were times where you know it was it was easy to quit but yeah i would tell him to just keep going do you think young abel would believe you when you told him where you'd be today i hope so he was pretty hard-headed mm. a little <laughs> stubborn okay congratulations thank, thank you. you thank you zuri let's go next to complex and weiss landrum or excuse me weiss armesh How you doing? Thank you so much for taking the time. Of course. Uh, yeah, we wanted to ask, uh, since you booked the gig, has there been any previous halftime shows that you've watched or that you either look up to or stand out to you? Um, 
again, Diana Ross is my favorite performance, so I just, I watched hers um, over and over again. Um, it's mainly her, yeah. Mm. I mean, I loved Prince's, obviously. Um, Michael Jackson, Beyonce, I mean, they're all amazing, but Diana Ross is definitely my favorite performance. Okay, let's go next to AP and Jonathan Landrum. The weekend, Arbel, how's it going, sir? What's up? <laughs> pleasure, pleasure. Um, Want to ask you about your performance. I know that, you know, in your most recent music videos and performances, I know they were a little graphic. Um, I know they had a little bit of blood, some violence, and even beheadings. Um, do you feel the need to tone down your Super Bowl performance a tad because this is somewhat a family event? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, uh, I definitely want to be respectful to the viewers at home. Um, I will still incorporate um, some of the storyline. It's a very cohesive story I've been telling throughout this era and uh, throughout this year. So um, the story will continue, but definitely will keep it PG for the families. Definitely. Well, thank thank you. you, Jonathan. I'll try my best. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. It's time to go up north. Let's go to eTalk Canada with Tyrone Edwards. My brother. What's up? <laughs> what up, bro? How you been? Hey, listen, man. You know I'm super, super happy right now from Scarborough to the Super Bowl. Feel me? Love. Um, now, you've been doing some powerful messaging with, with the bandages and everything that you've been working on in that sense. Will you be using this stage to continue that message? Or will you or you also be addressing some other messages as we've seen the, you know, uh, the, uh, the uprising in the black community as well. Um, again, you're gonna have to see on Sunday, uh, but you know, I don't like to spoon feed the audience. Hopefully, they can they can pick up um, some of their own theories and conclusions of what the show is saying and the story I'm telling and the performance. For sure. Yeah. All right, we have well, time. For <laughs> two more questions here. This weekend we have uh, extra. Rachel Lindsay. Hello, hello, congratulations. Um, I, I, I know you've answered a bunch of questions about your halftime performance and, and you're only giving us just a little bit, but I wanted to talk about what you've been doing in the community and why it was so important for you to show your appreciation in Tampa. You donated meals to frontline workers. You've been honoring black owned restaurants. Can you talk a little bit about why that was important for you to do that? I mean, I, I just, I, I, I see that people are struggling and I want to, I just want to help. Um, I've been in that position myself, and I know what it feels like. Um, you know, I, I never really had money growing up, so giving away isn't isn't hard for me. It's very easy. It means nothing. Well, thank thanks, you. Rachel. We have time for one more question, and we're going to go to the Toronto Star, Nick Cruin. Hi, uh, hi, Abel. How you doing? Can you hear me? Okay. Hi. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, great. Well, first of all, uh, congratulations on this uh, on this amazing show career milestone and happy early birthday. Uh, I've got two quick questions. Uh, first of all, how does it feel to be the first Canadian to headline solo at the halftime show? Shania and Dan Dankroy did it beforehand, but they always shared the stage. Oh, I didn't know that. I had no idea. Yeah. So how, how does it feel? It's, it's an honor. Yeah, it's a blessing. But I did not know that. And, and Is that a fact? Yeah, we had oh, Shania wow. in San Diego and Dan Aykroyd and Blues Brothers, I believe, in New wow. Orleans. So. Definitely an honor, yeah. You had another question, Nick? I think Nick is frozen. Looks like Nick is frozen, but I know someone... Yeah, one more question. Should we get a what screenshot happened? of that? We can hear you, Nick. Well, it looks like uh, he is indeed frozen, but we know you will not be frozen no, no. on Sunday when we no. get to the Pepsi Super Bowl. It is cold, show. though, in Tampa. I did not expect that. It is a, a little cold. It's I think freezing. on game day, we're uh, just like the, the rest of the year. We're going to have a lot of fun. Yep. We're going to play through the weather. It's football, so we play in football. any type of weather. But of uh, we do want to thank you on behalf of the National Football League and Pepsi. Yeah. For all <laughs>